welcome back. And joining uh, myself, Christine Bentley, and Kate Wheeler in studio is Vivek Rajshivare, who is uh, the founder of VUFA. And he's going to talk about why uh, consulting with an expert can save you time and money, as well as how you can enhance your business productivity by using virtual assistants. So, Vivek, why would anybody have to go to an expert today? Well, the thing is, whenever people have problems, they always go to experts, right? So let's say, for example, um, you have very less to zero knowledge about how to file you know, your tax returns, you go to an accountant. If you have problems with uh, health, you go to a doctor, right? So ultimately, what we're talking about is experts out there, you know, who are helping people to resolve their problems. And that's the reason why people go to experts. So in your experience, you've seen people who have, let's say, a website, and they come to you, for example, right. and, and, and what kind of difference do you see in, in their productivity or, or the money they're making or whatever their goal is? How does an expert um, enhance that? Well, in any business, right, uh, you have to create a mastermind group around you. You have to get the right people in the right place so that you can boost your business online. Right. So let's say, let's talk about virtual assistants, right? You hire somebody to do social media for you. You hire somebody to do blogging for you. And you hire another person or the same company to do internet marketing for you. That is, uh, you know, doing Google AdWords, Google Analytics, AdSense, all that kind of stuff. So what you're doing ultimately is you are trying to save your time that you might be spending every day just taking care of internet marketing. Let's say your business is more about uh, selling clothes, right? And uh, you are almost, you know, you have no knowledge about social media and you're just starting off as an entrepreneur. You're spending all your time just learning about social media and you can never reach to that export level from where you can actually start seeing some results. So okay. it's better to hire somebody. Okay, maybe, but when you're just starting off and you haven't got a lot of money, I mean, people are telling me that it can cost, you know, a thousand to two thousand dollars a month per social stream well, I'm to gonna pay somebody. I'm, I'm going to plug in something here. It's uh, Just go and check out vufa.ca, V-O-O-F-A dot C-A, and you might find that we have packages where with the minimum you know, cost, and uh, you, can, you can hire us to take care of your social media and blogging. Well, what's the minimum cost, though? Like, I mean, seriously. $250 per month, which I think is, uh, is an okay cost. And what does somebody get for that? You get four blogs. That's one blog every week. And then you get almost like 60 feeds every month on your social media. Plus, you get... Uh, what does that mean, 60 feeds? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a dummy. Like, like a post on your Facebook, on your Twitter, on your Google+, Plus, on your Pinterest, on your YouTube, and then four video uploads on YouTube every month. So I think for a small business owner to have something like that, a package like that, where they pay only $250 and they get all of that, it's worth doing it. Yeah, I mean that's that's a good deal if that's gonna. But but when you say like video uploads, what are you putting up there? Are you putting up videos of the business? Are you producing videos as well? Because that's ridiculously inexpensive. So, what yeah, are you putting like up? Uh, like for a small business, right? A, a lot of time we think that social media actually drives the traffic. Well, social uh, social media is getting uh, is getting saturated. You see a lot of companies doing the same thing over and over again. So where you stand at the end of the day, where you stand. Unless you are doing something that is going to boost up your website by creating a backlink from your social media coming back to your website, then you can make a sale. Unless you are trying to do that, you know what? You will just be there doing the hashtagging, doing all the stuff there, no sales. But isn't everybody doing the backlink thing? No, not everybody. People think that social media is the core of business online, which I'm telling you right now, it's all saturated, okay? You need to come up with a better way so that people can go to your website and start buying stuff from you. But um, Vivek, isn't it sort of that then everybody does one thing and then that becomes saturated and then you're always having to find the next mm -hmm. way to do it differently because it seems that it's almost like every three months it turns over. We've, we've talked about social media and in the past, what, year, Kate? Things have changed, I don't know, three, four, five times where the emphasis changes. Mm -hmm. And there's always somebody reinventing the wheel because there's so much noise out there to stand out. Right. You have to change the game, and so the game changes, and then you have to change the game again. So does somebody like you, 
Uh, are you ahead of the game always? Is that what you do yeah, be, for be, a business? Being, being in marketing and being in mar- uh, being a marketing ec- expert, I have to always keep on coming up with new ideas, something different that people can relate to, and at the same time, it can benefit. You know, people can benefit from that whole strategy. And right now, I'm telling people that you know what. Don't spend a lot of time on social media. You can literally use Hootsuite or any of those softwares and can get all the all your feeds and posts, you know, go out to the right channels. Right. right. Mm-hmm. But make sure that every feed that you are putting out there has a backlink to your website. Because the sales and the magic is going to happen on your website. Unless they come to your website and they know and they look into the product, they're not buying from but you. But that's hard on Twitter because you're using up a lot of characters. Um to you know, to out of your 140 by putting up a link to your website. No, you can shorten that link. There are there there are uh, online websites where you can go and, and you can shorten up the link. It's a short code you can create from your URL. Well, Hootsuite does that, but it's still, I mean, Hootsuite does it automatically. But you're mm-hmm. saying in every tweet that goes out, you should have a link to your website. Yes, you should. So is this how um, uh, entrepreneurs or individuals enhance their business productivity? Is this the, the answer or is there more? Well, the thing is, uh, like I said, a lot of time there are more entrepreneurs than entrepreneurs out there. Entrepreneurs are people who want to be entrepreneurs. So what they're doing is they have 9 to 5 job and they want to leave that job and they want to start and living a lifestyle of uh, entrepreneurs where you know they can work according to their own timelines. Mm-hmm which they're not able to do. What they do and what they end up doing is they start up a business and in that business they become a slave of that business. They're still working as an employee to that business. Being an entrepreneur means that you have to manage your business. You have to be the owner of the business. And you can only do that by hiring the right people and managing them. So are we talking here about a virtual assistant? Yes, hire a virtual assistant or hire somebody in your team and create a mastermind in your team so that you can pretty much take expertise from each one of them and and, and try to make a sale. So here you are, you've got a 9 to 5 job, you're trying to start a business and you can afford to have a mastermind team? Yes, you can. You can there there are different groups out there. You can uh, you know like uh, meetup groups are out there. You can go there and meet 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 different kind of people experts and, and and make sure that these experts have the credential that you're looking for. You have to check out their uh, educational background. You have to check out whether they have they have helped people, you know, in the past and people have benefited from it. You have to check out testimonials, reviews about these guys. But who can but can you afford it when you're starting out is is mm-hmm. back to the same question. That's the that's always the issue for for people starting out in a business that they say, that we've talked to, that they couldn't afford to at the beginning. Uh, if you know Jim, uh, the owner of uh, Boston Pizza, the right. whole chain, right? right? The guy started off working for one of the Boston Pizza, and later on he partnered up with his own accountant who was looking into finance because he didn't have the right knowledge about finance. He hired somebody to do his taxes, right? right. In the end, he partnered up with this guy, and they started owning one after another the whole chain of Boston Pizza. Right, so there. Sometimes you you don't have to have the money to hire somebody. You can build a relationship with people, offering them a percentage in the company, and then start working with them, or give them something uh, where where they can make money as well. Give them the opportunity to work because a lot of experts are sitting out there claiming that we are expert at something, but they don't have any clients. You go to them and say like, listen, if you don't have any clients, it's better you work with me, and we will make money together. I'm doing nine to five job. You help me with this stuff, and slowly you will see that the guy will help you out, and and you will leave your nine to five job. But again, going back to the point, be the manager, be the owner of your business. Don't become slave to your business. So tell us about. I just want to. Why I hired you? <laughs> <laughs> I, want, I want to know just before we go because we've got a hard out here. What is a virtual assistant? Just very quickly. Virtual assistants are people who mostly work from their home. Okay. Uh, according to their own time. Okay. And and these are people who are sitting behind the scene operating all your business needs, you know, requirements. Okay. We'll take six of those, right, Kate? Yeah, at least. <laughs> well, we have Alex, we have Lynn, but Lynn's actually here. Uh, so she, she, she does double duty at home and in the studio. Um, I want a virtual assistant to put together this book. We want to put, we want to put together a book of our, like, top quotes 
from our first year. And I don't have time Hire to listen Vufa. to Hire We do e-books, too. Okay, there you go. There you we'll, go. Trade, we'll trade that. All right, um, Vivek, so ha tell, tell our listeners and our subscribers, because, of course, you have subscribed to WhatSheSaidRadio.com, right? Yeah. Uh, so tell them how, how you can help. Uh, well, the thing is, I've been doing private consulting for the past five years now, and I've been helping our businesses uh, to improve their productivity and uh, and the performance. So perhaps they can check out our website, vufa.ca, and and we can you know help them out with their business, whether it's virtual assistant, social media, website design, or search engine optimization. Yeah, mm -hmm. or 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 managing. Or managing their business. Or managing, sure. yeah, managing that that group of experts. Yeah. Like, uh, it's all about strategies, right? And we are always ready to give out good strategies to people. 